My name is Jim Ovia. I'm chairman of Zenit Bank and I thank you all for listening to me. Lagos had been a very interesting experience for most people who had come to Lagos over a number of years. For some people like us and some of my age group and peer group that had the opportunity to come to Lagos and work and also transform a number of things. When, uh, as far back as in the early 70s, I used to work at Barclays Bank, the old, good old days of Barclays Bank. Remember, Barclays Bank transformed to become Union Bank. I used to be a clerical officer at the Kedja of Barclays Avenue, and it was very interesting how we used to take the LMTS buses. You remember the LMTS buses of those days? Yes, truly, truly so. And we grew up under this kind of situation where things were um, well organized, and things are still very well organized today. And that was when Lagos used to also bubble, but not anywhere near as it is today. From there on, after university education, we thought Lagos is the only place where you can come and work and also enjoy social life. So we continue Lagos that we have known because we call ourselves Lagos Boys. Did my NYC at Union Bank at 131 Broad Street. Remember Broad Street is the equivalent of Wall Street of New York. And we all know Wall Street had become, over a number of years, all the most multinationals and as well as the large financial institutions were at Wall Street at that point in time. Then from after the NYC, started working for First National Bank of Chicago, that we used to call it IMB, International Merchant Bank. And from there on, because Lagos pro provides very interesting opportunities, then we all had opportunity to combine resources and we have what we call the Zenit Bank. They are just at the Ogun. We built it, maintain it, light it up. Today is one of the most little streets in Nigeria that we can say that. And also remember part of the social activities, the Christmas decoration for the children who are on holiday on our Jesu Adeogun. We do that every year for the fun of it, as a way of saying thank you to Lagos. As we could see at the Civic Center Towers, at the penthouse, we can overlook how beautiful Lagos is. Overlooking the Falmo Bridge and the beautiful lagoon, the number five Kauri, and um, all the beautiful structures above. And of course, the ever busy Lakey Street, Lakey Concession Road, which is also the continuation of Ozumba Mbadiwe Street. We remember in those good old days, Fela Ransom Kuti, the Afrobeat King. We all used to go to Fela Ransom Kuti and go there and relax. And uh, of course, such music as Shakara Oloje was our favorite. And um, a number of other, um, Fela was just number one then. We couldn't go anywhere else but Fela's shrine, the African shrine. We remember the African shrine and that was a lot of fun for us. And of course, Babbage. We also used to go to Babbage in those good old days. Going to Babbage was like fun. You go there and sit and watch the water and watch the waves. And where else? What else is there to do in Lagos? Quite a number of things, a number of activities. Lagos is always very welcoming, very relaxing. Other than the hustle, bustle, other than the business activity, other than the profit you make, there are many places where you're going to blow away and spend those profits also. This is my Lagos.